No, these are the kind of things I don't do usually. <laughs> like, oh, what's that meet and greet? Sit and do something and then talk to other people about important matters. It's not just lunch. Or you eat or you think. I don't know. Or you talk to other people about their stuff or you have a chance to talk about your own things. So your diary is great for that. Okay, I want to unknipfen now. Unknipfen. Now I'm doing makeup. A little bit. Unknipfen. I'm on the lip right now, as you can hear. That means deconstructing is like just knitting a sweater, but on the other way around, right? <laughs> Undo the sweater. Step by step, knit by knit. Um, <laughs> masche by masche. So thinking about that situation with, you know, the last story. Number 22 is that I don't play also. It's also because no, I'm not going to repeat the whole thing. You have to just listen to the previous version. It's like this person she was engaging with, her new boyfriend. He was a cold-hearted and he was also a sissy in many ways. And in, in a bad sissy, not a good sissy. I mean, is there a good sissy? No, I did have comparisons to it, I have to say. Because, you see, I don't want to sit with someone who is not a person noteworthy to be around with. That's the issue. Yeah, I was 13 and 14, maybe, I don't know. Like, that's enough. I'm not saying I never said. Of course, sometimes you can't leave. You just have to go to school, eat, go back. But when I could uh, avoid it, I did at all costs. Now, when I was younger, nine maybe, she had a, a temporary boyfriend shortly. And he went to our house, our little apartment, and he cooked for us. He worked in a restaurant, and he was a cook. And not only that, we also went to the nature to the forest that very day beforehand and we got um, mushrooms he knew about mushrooms so he did the whole effort of doing that finding our nourishments going cooking for us and then he took me to a whatever but he and I had an outing and very shyly I remember over the bridge he gave me the hand like you hold the hand from a child and I was like Super sweet in a way because he didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> and I'm very silent. I'm very shy myself. So, But I looked into that. I noticed that he kind of maybe felt that's the right thing to do, but he wasn't really sure. So if that would have been the new boyfriend when I was 13, I would have given him a chance because he was someone who actually started looking. So I looked like always and I'm not saying I see she with her dramas deemed me arrogant because I wasn't engaging in her dramas it doesn't mean I wasn't engaging in the fights I remember I constantly was intending to improve her feelings her emotions by letting her know that whatever she was supposing my actions on or lack of a means is not what it is so she can stop suffering but, well, and reasons now I understand, but it took a long while that it wasn't about what I did or wouldn't do. It was all her mental constructions, all her little ways of dealing or not dealing with stuff she should have been, all her little inventions. So there's nothing I could do about it. But on the other hand, she has really made the point of making me feel so unwanted ever since and so unworthy that by the time she started to talk to me and I could actually talk talk something, I mean, I could speak. I'm a, not allowed to speak, but able to, because when you're three, you don't talk. That starts a little bit later. That I never engaged with her and with the wish of wanting to be feeling worthy because I already felt unworthy. I mean, check me out. That's that's what she brought to me, feeling unworthy with all her dramas all the time. And her, of course, making it very clear that she didn't want it, a child and that I was just disturbing her. So my giving her attention was all for her. But how can you get there? How can you get to, to these levels where you can be disconnected? Well, you have to observe it. Well, maybe I came with a microchip, I don't know. You have to observe it. And
And I'm not sure how that went, but I, you see, I avoid violence at all costs. And that's probably where you may or may not wish to turn around. Where you gain momentum and awareness of yourself. That you can do the same. And it's a crucial point. It's pivoting. Go from one side to the other side. Because if you respond violence with violence, you are on the negative side and nothing will help you because ultimately you're going to feel guilty even if those deserved it. And then you have even more shit to deal with, which you don't really want to deal with. So that is a choice. That is a choice. For you to just move out. That's it. Ah, makeup is done.